In 2018, astronomers have found a candidate super-Earth planet orbiting around one of the closest stars to the Sun, Barnard's star. It is at least three times as massive as Earth. Barnard's star, a dim red dwarf, lies just six light years from the Sun in the constellation Ophiuchus. It is the closest neighbor to us, apart from the three-star Alpha Centauri system, which is about 4.3 light years away. The newfound planet, known as Barnard Star B, orbits its host star once every 233 days. However, astronomers have long suspected there could be a planet around Barnard Star due to the high frequency of planets around M dwarf stars revealed by NASA's now defunct Kepler Space Telescope. The alien world remains a planet candidate for now, but astronomers who identified it are confident the alien planet will eventually be confirmed. The planet lies in a distant region from the star, known as the Snow Line. This is beyond the habitable zone in which liquid water and possibly life could exist. The researchers estimate the planet's surface temperature to be around minus 170 degrees Celsius. Therefore, it is likely to be a frozen world and not so welcoming to Earth-like life. But if the planet has a substantial atmosphere, the temperature could be higher and conditions potentially more hospitable. The new investigation combines both new and archival observations spanning 20 years from seven different instruments across the globe. The data record the star's radial velocity, its relative speed toward and away from Earth. This technique detects wobbles in a star that are likely to be caused by the gravitational pull of an orbiting planet. As the star moves towards the Earth, its spectrum appears slightly shifted towards the blue, and as it moves away, it is shifted towards the red. This is the first time that astronomers have used this technique to detect a planet this small so far away from its host star. The researchers also detected hints of another possible planet in the system. The other object is orbiting way farther out than Barnard's star B, with an orbital period of 6,600 Earth days. But this second signal is too weak for scientists to consider it a planet candidate. Our galactic home, the Milky Way, died at some point in its history, so we are now in its second life. The Milky Way experienced a dark age when the formation of new stars dramatically stopped. When the universe was still in its early stages, explosions of supernovae injected iron into the gas, swirling in and around the Milky Way, and changed its composition. As the gas cooled down, it began flowing back into the galaxy some five billion years ago. Thus, the creation of the second generation of stars, including our sun, began. Cosmonology is now on Patreon. If you want to see extra videos, chat with us, or even have your name written in one of our videos, please be our patron on patreon.com slash cosmonology, or you can find the link in the description below. If you like this channel and want to support us, please subscribe and hit the bell icon.